Hi everyone! Today we are going to explain how to prepare your Shopify store for international selling in 4 steps. E-commerce market is larger than ever. 4.54 billion people now have access to the internet. By broadening their e-commerce internationally, merchants can expand their businesses worldwide. But before deciding to do that, there are some points merchants need to think about. Is it worth it? Think about how you will sell your products to different countries. This might be more difficult than it seems. Have you calculated the cost of shipping to other countries? Or will you offer free shipping? Have you checked the feasibility of getting your products to the customers? How long will it take? Can you give delivery time information to your customers? Delivery time information is very important for customers. 45% of shoppers have left their basket because of unsatisfactory delivery information. How many suppliers are there? What is the risk of your products being stolen? Also, have you considered the risk of your products being damaged during transit? And the last question. Will the profit from selling cross-border be worth to your company's effort to enter these new markets? Can you pay these costs? Answer those questions before you start. If you haven't considered those in mind yet, you should start. It's important to calculate the cost of international operations. Make sure that you can meet those costs. How to do it? 1. Offer a multi-currency option. It's about letting your customers pay for orders using their own currencies. Offering your customers currencies increases their confidence in your brand. By doing that, you are building trust. And this trust is increasing the possibility to shop in your store more frequently. For example, let's say that you have one or more stores on e-commerce in international traffic. Now you can boost your convergence among international shoppers while offering multi-currency options. Or if you will offer regional stores, for example, for US and Canada only, you can choose to sell primarily in Canada while offering a regional experience to US shoppers. Merchants see a 13% increase in cart abandonment when customers see price changes in foreign currency, as WordPlay research found. This might be due to fears of conversion fees. Currency conversion fee is explained, the fee that Shopify charges to convert currencies when you capture a payment. The conversion fee is based on your source primary country. For example, in US it's 1.5% and 2% in all other countries and regions with Shopify payment. These automated softwares are ready to work with you. But before finding automated software, you need to know where your customers are coming from. You have to look and search which international markets are attracted by your products primarily. If you have found your target customers' countries, they are willing to buy your products more than others and you will get high margins faster. Now. It's time to decide which currencies you will offer in your store. Let's take a look at currency converter apps you can use. First one, Bald Multi Currency is a free currency converter app. Let's customers change currency easily by using a currency switcher. You can find it on Shopify App Store. This app supports all currencies and it supports multiple rounding rules. This will help you for more accurate pricing for any of your customers and works with the Shopify team. Second one. Best Multi-Currency Converter It's a mobile-oriented currency switcher app that can run 100% in the background. See, that might be highly beneficial for your business. This app automatically selects currency based on your customer's location and automatically removes price decimals. This app supports every currency and works with the Shopify team. Auto Currency Switcher This is an another app detecting customer's location based on IP and it converts the price based on their local currency. This app shows the country flag in the currency section. It has user-readable price figures and this also removes the price decimals. Use supply and demand to your advantage. E-commerce is very crowded and so very competitive. You need to optimize it by using a pricing strategy. The key to optimize your prices is your competition. If you have found that there's a demand for your product but it's not supplied by any company yet, you can use supply and demand to your advantage. This is called an untapped market, where products are not supplied, but there is a demand. If you are in this situation, start charging different prices in different markets. 
If this change doesn't decrease your sales and affects your average order value or increase cart abandonment, continue looking for different price points. You should keep looking for different price points until you find the optimal point. Optimal point is a point where the highest number of buyers are likely to buy. If the country you are entering is competitive, your competition will influence your pricing strategy. In this case, you need to understand your competitors, such as their strategy, supplier, shipping condition, profit margins. After getting into this competition, you can work with more profitable markets elsewhere, take an aggressive approach such as increasing prices and attempting to gain market share. 3. Track e-commerce metrics accurately. When you enter a competitive international market, your average customer acquisition cost would differ reasonably a lot. It could have a massive impact on your profitability, and this affects your pricing strategy right away. Customer acquisition cost is the calculation of total cost of acquiring new customer. It's crucial for Shopify merchants, because if customer acquisition cost is greater than your revenue, your store will be out of business. And this might be more than in one country. Customer acquisition cost is calculated by marketing costs and salaries divided by the number of customers acquired. For example, if company A spends $200 on marketing in year 1 and they have acquired 200 customers in same year, their customer acquisition cost is $1. Let's have another example. There is a company running on Shopify called Finn. They spent $50,000 on ads last month and the marketing team reported that there are 5,000 new orders, so customer acquisition cost is $10. Finn's average order value is $20, with a markup of 100%. Finn makes $10 per sale and $2 from each customer. This is a simple way of calculating customer acquisition cost. But can Finn measure customer acquisition cost after customers make more than one purchase? Or how can they ensure that they have a loyal customer who makes a purchase every month? This metric is called Finn's customer lifetime value. The purpose is to find better and more accurate information on what customer lifetime value means. Shopify merchants need to calculate customer lifetime value and track it consistently. Because both customer turnover and profit depends on your customer's desire to continue to make more purchases and also engagement with your brand. Here is one way you can calculate customer lifetime value. Customer lifetime value and customer acquisition costs are entirely tied together. Those metrics should be your prior attention. On its own, customer lifetime value is the best indicator for turnovers and your best projector of profit, and probably the biggest help in making marketing and sales decisions. After seeing the results of customer lifetime value, you could answer questions such as, should you continue selling in those countries? Should you increase or decrease your prices for a particular group of buyers? Should you offer discounts, promotions, or other incentives to a group of buyers? Make sure that your Shopify tracking is accurate. Unfortunately, many merchants think that it's really hard to calculate customer lifetime value. And even Google Analytics, a data powerhouse, can't calculate on its own. Some merchants resort to Google Analytics sheets calculations or online lifetime value calculations. International selling has lots of benefits. Growing your store, having an even larger audience, higher potential for success, high potential for selling more products in other countries. To be successful in international selling, your pricing strategy needs to be accurate with other currencies, deciding the right shipping strategy and accurate calculations for your costs that matter. Thank you for watching our video. Keep in mind that international selling is a great opportunity for Shopify merchants. Make sure that your store meets these four steps that we have discussed. And stay tuned for our next videos.